Release notes for Jurassic World Alive. Update 3.7 are here. Welcome to the Brawl update. As always, we do have to wait for Tuesday to understand the full implications with stats and resistances. But analysis starts now. IDGT and PK give their first impressions of the new creatures and features. We hope it is helpful to the community. Please let us know any questions, commentary, and your feedback below. Rajadothalus' is Update 3.7's unique Super Hybrid. It is composed of new legendary hybrid Rajathalus and legendary non-hybrid Celidosaurus. If the stats are somewhat decent, Rajadothalus should be a force. It has speed control and shields out the wazoo. Wondering how long Rajado can stay fielded while taking full advantage of its counterattack. This creature also has a really solid OE for a resilient that will keep the swap in attackers at bay. Rajathalus is Jurassic World Alive's first legendary hybrid since Konkakuasaurus in patch 3.3. Hopefully this one is just as good. Rajathalus is made from new rare non-hybrid Spherothalus and epic non-hybrid Rajasaurus. The kit does look promising as well. With speed control, shields, and two ways to distract, it seems like Ludia is pushing hard for Cunning Resilient, which is a good mixture of classes. Can't wait to see this legendary in action. Spherothalus is a rare non-hybrid. We hope it is on the map as players will need a lot of this Pachycephalosaurid DNA. Spherothalus' kit indicates that this should be one of the better recent rare non-hybrids in JWA. Interestingly, Ludia has given us a rare non-hybrid for three patches in a row. Hopefully it has enough HP to survive an attack after swap-in so it can take full advantage of its swap-in vulnerability strike followed by instant resilient impact. Lambiosaurus is JWA's newest Omega. Again, would be great if this creature is on the map to hunt. Should be interesting to see how the heal modifiers work. In Lambiosaurus's case, it will be the heal buff. Overall, the kit looks really good, another creature with powerful counter heal. At least Lambiosaurus does not have a way to heal itself back to full health, from what we can see. Lambio's usage will depend on what point each of its moves unlock and its stats and resistances. A healing modifier has been added in this update. It looks like most of the heals will be changed to allow the heal debuffs to work properly. For example, Heals that cleanse all negative effects will have the order of effects for the heal changed. Example, for moves like Group Vitalize, previously accelerating team heal, the order of actions will be as follows. 1. Cleanse damage reduction. 2. Heal 100% damage stat. 3. Cleanse all negative effects. By having the cleanse come after the heal, this ensures that the heal debuff will not be affected by the cleanse. We'll have more on Brawl later this week. It should be an awesome new feature, similar to PvP with what looks like changes to perks coming weekly. We do think it will take some time for everyone to fully grasp, so just remember that Brawl 4v4 is something new. Try not to get frustrated about it. On release, remember not to stress about wins or losses. Instead, work towards learning this new battle mode. Hopefully the Brawl crests are plentiful and the Brawl shop has some good offers. First impressions. This is a major update. 3.7 has the first new PvP battle mode since tournaments were introduced. There are many rebalances and good changes with that. Some possibly even making it to the arena. Like 3.6, the rebalancing should shake up tournament formats as well. But there is potentially even more. The teaser for update 3.7 told us to keep our eye out for more dinos to be released in the summer during this update. Exciting! Even more creatures will be revealed soon for Update 3.7. Please join us now for our Part 2 video of Update 3.7, The Rebalanced Creatures. We're looking forward to Tuesday, and cannot wait to show you the new creatures of Update 3.7 in action. Stay tuned. Thank you for watching. Please join us now in our Part 2 analysis video to review the many rebalanced creatures of this update. And stay tuned for all new Update 3.7 beta content on IDGT902 YouTube.